Are you afraid of getting negative comments on your YouTube channel? And is that stopping you from actually doing a YouTube channel or any social media for that matter? Well, my friends, that is a blessing. First of all, any comment is a blessing in terms of the algorithms, right? Because they just look at the, the comments. But if you're getting uh, negative comments, it's actually as much of a blessing as positive comments. Why is that? Because two things. One is when someone writes a negative comment, every, language is just a reflection, right? So anything I say is just a reflection of my own experience and how I feel or think about what I about myself. So if someone says, "Oh, your channel sucks," or "You suck," or "This is garbage." Guess what they think in their head? They think they suck. They think they're garbage. They think they are riffraff, right? And so it's almost like, dang, that person's like really going through something if they think that about themselves. And that's how all language patterns is, guys. So when you see people, you know, criticizing other people, they're also really scared themselves. They are, they are so scared of someone saying that to them they're just saying it first to someone else. Or that's just really how they think about themselves. Language is a revelation of how someone feels and thinks about themselves. So if you see like negative, negative comments or even in person, if someone says something, you're just like, wow, that person really is going through something right now. That's so interesting. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. It's so interesting. But you might have a reaction, right? Someone criticized you, you might like, oh, wow, you have your own reaction because um, there's stimulus response. So there's outside world stimuli stimulates you in a positive or negative way. And then you have your own emotional response to it. But that's also a blessing. So if you feel yourself going into like uh, a fearful place or insecure place when someone says something, that's beautiful because now it's a, you're, they're just a mirror for you. And if you're reacting like that to them, you're also re reacting like that to someone else and someone else and someone else. And also that's, uh, that's, a, that's a fear. It's a guidepost review of where you can go next to, lo to learn to love yourself more, to expand yourself more. And the more you love yourself, the more you expand yourself, the more energy you're able to draw and the more people you're able to serve, you're able to help. So when somebody says that negative thing, go within and be like, hmm, that's so interesting. I'm having this reaction. I feel fear I feel insecurity I feel doubt in this moment it's so interesting and then and then see it as like not as you because you're not you are your brain and mind but you're not you're more of your soul and you just observe your brain and mind going through the experience of like oh it's feeling this emotion that's so interesting you know I don't I can choose to feel this or I can choose not to why don't I go ahead and if I if I don't want to or um, you know, ask yourself, what, what is this emotion teaching me about myself? And then you can release it. Something I just like to do, I just say, release, I release insecurity to God. I release insecurity to the light, right? And I think the Bible talked about that where it says, send all your burdens to God. Um, send all your burdens to God. And that's why I like to view it. Like, this, an, a burdens are really at some level an emotion, just emotions we experience. So release, let me, re I release the insecurity to God. Let me release these emotions to God. And then I call in emotions that I want to feel. I am divine love, I am peace, I am joy, I am gratitude. And you just call that in and you start to train your body and your mind to replace those emotions. And as you do that, you learn to love yourself more and then you learn to love other people more, right? And isn't that what Jesus taught us at the end of the day? Learn to love God, God, which is, which is you know, you're a part of God, learning to love yourself and learn to love other people, right? Um, and then once you do that, you're able to expand your love and you're able to expand your service and energy because now that part of you that was constricted or fearful or blocked is now open. So you're able to walk to a different area, walk with greater expansion and you're able to help and serve more people. And it's beautiful because you expanded your soul. You learned to expand your soul. You learned the highest truths of the universe, which is to learning to love ourselves, to love God or our soul and uh, learning to love other people. So that's how I feel about it. That's my perspective. So I hope that helps you with whatever you're uh, looking at right now. And uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Talk to you guys soon.